In this video, I'm going to show you, hopefully, how to convert the 8.5 by 11 PowerPoint into a 6 by 9 or an 8 by 10. But it's going to take a little bit. I've been experimenting with this. This was a great question I had. A couple of things that we need to know. We can change the PowerPoint to a 6 by 9. That's no problem. But then when we go to save it, onto PDF so that its grayscale is okay, but there will be a problem. We go to print, we can change this to um, ready to print, PDF, we can change it to grayscale, everything. But the problem is, is when we print it to PDF, it immediately turns it back to 8.5 by 11. So after we change this to 6 by 9, then we can go back and change change how it prints in PDF to 6x9, or as close as we can get to 6x9. But first, let me show you how to change the size of the PowerPoint. We have to go into View. Then we're going to go to Slide Master. We're going to go to Slide Size, and then Custom Size. Now, when we look at this, we're going to change it. I'm still going to change it to 6x9. Right. I want to ensure the fit. Now when we look to the left, what happens is PowerPoint's going to put in all of these extra slides that we don't need. So I'm just going to click on the slide and delete. I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, we're going to keep that one. And we're going to keep this one because that's the first page, that's our title page, and then the rest of the pages are in here. When I go and print this directly to PDF. I'm going to show you what happened when I pulled it up on KDP. So here it is on KDP and one of the major problems I had is right here with the month. It ends up too close to the cut line and KDP might not even accept this and as but I think this is going to be an easy fix. So let's go back to our PowerPoint. We're still in the master slide we're going to insert some placeholders for ourselves. So this is just a box and the width is going to be 0 0.5. So that's the binding. Now remember, we weren't having problems with the binding side. We were having problems with the non-binding side. So I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm just going to over arrow until I get to the binding. Another thing you're going to notice way down here is that gobbledygook. That's okay. Just take it out. Now before we leave this page, we're going to add some lines because that's one of the things that happens. You can put lines in there. You don't have to put lines in there. Totally your choice. Right click cut. Now these ones were okay. I think this one was a little close. So how about we just move it over a little to the left. All right. And then this is where we had an issue. So it's pretty close over here and over here. Um, I'm just going to go back and take a really quick look. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and it was the Sunday that was too close. So we're going to move it over. We can actually move it over quite a bit, but I'm going to move it over just till it gets a little over our box. Right click, cut. If you didn't catch how I made the box, let me show you really quick. Um, insert, shapes, rectangle. I'm just going to hold it and go down here. Then up here for the width, 0 0.5, and I'm just going to make it right on the edge here. Oh, got to do the binding edge, Catherine. So let's go over here. We're going to move this to the left. All right. Once again, we're going to have to fix some of these lines. All right, so you can take them, uh, add more, take out whatever you like. Might want to maybe move it up a little. Totally your choice. 
right click cut go down here let's go back and look so we did move this over we could move this over a little bit too okay so hopefully you're kind of seeing what I'm doing Oop, I want everything highlighted being a little bit of a stinker all right notice down here our lines so I think what I'm gonna do is bring it up a little and then add a little bit of a line there once again remember it's totally up to you and over here we have kind of a crazy thing going on here it made our pictures a little crazy so I just shrank it so now they look a little better all right, let's go to the next page and I'm gonna keep looking here I think okay, those are we fixed all of those okay so the reflection page we're gonna be okay because the lines are well within but we do need to add some lines the one that you see that I keep looking back to is one that I only changed these little bits I didn't actually move the pages that's okay that's okay this one we have to add all right remember the reason I put these in the master slide is that I don't have to go to every single page in the planner and do this to it now this is where we have a little bit of a crazy thing going on if you like First of all, I apologize. This should have been Century Gothic, but remember you can change that. Hopefully you change it to a different font that you really like. But if we look at these email folders, they don't look right. I mean, they look elongated. So we're going to fix that. So I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to hit delete. And I'm just going to leave one of those boxes in there. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to keep moving let me show you let me step back here a second this is what I'm doing I highlight it I bring my cursor to any side of the box but I'm right-handed so I kinda like to go to the right and I'm gonna keep shrinking it until the picture looks nice to me and that actually looks pretty good it might be a little small uh, it's up to you but I don't know that looks good so I'm gonna click it right click it copy right click paste and just put it where I think it goes now we're gonna make the computer work for us we're gonna highlight everything we're going to go into we can go to picture format or right here where a range is but I'm gonna go to picture format because it's there for sure I'm going to go to align I want to align these center oh so this must have been in the center already that's good that's good I am going to align left all right then the most important one though is align or distribute vertically and what that does is it makes it even so that means I can highlight it all right click copy right click this time I'm gonna paste as an image and I really noticed that I need to bring this up maybe over a little bit let's bring the word email contacts over a little bit all right that looks pretty good I think that's pretty good and I'm gonna highlight all of that delete it I'm gonna go back to the binding on the right copy it right click copy <laughs> right click paste and I don't think that's so bad let me put in our little shape here All right. so we can move everything over a little and I mean I don't think that's gonna hurt any and I should probably double check here too yeah it should move over a little once again it's it's really your preference okay now it's six by nine 
everything's awesome. I'm going to file, save as, I'm going to save it as a six by nine. Um, look here because I can never remember where to look when I save stuff. Okay. Now, here is kind of what the, the problem I was talking about. When we go to print this to PDF, print, and we want to change the color, okay, all right, then for me on my printer, maybe for you too, I'm not sure, but I'm going to change it to an A5, Oop, change the grayscale again, I'm going to go back because a5 is the closest to 6x9 that my printer or this PowerPoint will do. So once again, I'm going to go to print. I'm just going to double check sometimes. Okay, okay, we're good. And then I'm going to make sure it's color, and then I'm going to print. I'm going to print it as look here. You see, I've tried this a couple times. All right. Then I'm going to pull it up in Adobe. I'm going to go to File Properties and yep it saved it as almost a 6x9. Yay! And it also saved it as grayscale which is even better. We're gonna go back and I'm gonna do Exit and I'm going to put in the new one we just did. Look here because I did look here. And then we're just going to simply, I'm going to come back in a minute once everything's happy and we're going to check it out to see if it worked. All right, so let's see how we did. This is what it'll look like after we nudged it. Change the, okay. Oh, that looks so much better. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot better. So I think that's what you need to do to get it to a six by nine the reflection the reflection page yes this is i would approve this this is awesome what does that mean that means change it to a six by nine by going to uh, view slide master six by nine what we did was we tweaked these pages a little just moved them a little bit remember you have to change you won't have to you won't have to remember to change this because it's super large so undo that okay so when we go into file and we're going to print and we print it to PDF we need to change or I had to change my printer properties now we do have a little bit of another problem so I'm gonna cancel cancel let's go back from our choices there is no um, 10 by 7 and so these are really the only choices we have. So I hope this helped when we have to print to PDF to make it grayscale. Looks like our only choices are eight and a half by 11 or six by nine. Keep the questions coming because the more questions you ask of me, the better I can get. Thank you.